and he works on a cable show that looks like that rivals Wayne's World. <laughs> That's why. Here's a guy calling calling me morally bankrupt. I'm calling him morally bankrupt. He's screaming on his TV show. They sent me the tape. He wants to debate me. I'm gonna give him an opportunity to debate me, all right, old codger? Fool. Is that you, Wally? Hello? Wally? Who is this? Can you hear me or you need a hearing aid? It's Howard. You're on the air. Hey, Stern. I heard what you said, you stupid moron. I'm on no cable outlet. I'm on the Channel America television network, reaching into 35 million homes across America, you scum. Uh, then yeah, how come well, no one knows you? Where are these 35 million people? Yeah, where are the 35 million people that know All you? All across America, we get mail from Buffalo, New York every day. <laughs> Buffalo, New York. <laughs> hey, you're really happening, Wally. How long have you been in the business? I've been in the business. I was 14 years old. Yeah, 14 years old. So you've been in the business how long? Well, I, I'm now 51. 51? That's right, pal. Oh, you, you got a birth certificate to prove that? That's absolutely true. Yeah, well, you do me a favor. You send me a copy of that birth certificate. I'll be glad to do that. But the yeah. reason that I... What bar are you calling from? Do you drink? Hey, listen, it's 6.15 in the morning here in Southern California. Right. And the reason I'm on the air with you, uh, Stern... Yeah. ...is to tell you that I have launched a nationwide campaign to get you off the air. On what basis? Because you are a filthy, rotten... Garbage mouth. You're a going filthy, on... rotten garbage mouth who's made it uh, possible for you to be on the... Listen, first of all, your TV show looks like it is a, a Wayne's World out of a basement. What is the budget on that show? Listen. What is the budget on that piece you're of garbage? You're so lucky. Plus, you're you have no opinions on anything. You're worse than... Your television show yeah. looks like it's coming out of a toilet. And by the way, I have news for you. You've already been dropped by two television stations. And now I understand from the sources I have here in Los Angeles... Channel 13 is, is very, very uh, getting ready to drop your, your, your stupid... Your Let me ask you something. Why do you pay so much attention to what my show is doing? Is there a bit of jealousy no, on your I'll part? You why, You've been Howard. in the business for, uh, what is it, 45 years, and no one's heard of you. Oh, You've really? never, yeah, no oh, one's really? heard of you. You make no money. Hey, hey, and you know what I think is funny? You call me morally bankrupt, but you can't even speak with your daughter. Oh, really? Yeah, really. You've been reading the National Enquirer. My yeah. Daughter and I, my daughter Rebecca and I, De Mornay had to change her name. Not, to change her name from uh, the George, the famous George name, because you know why? You can't even keep your family together. You because are, you're not a family man like I am. You are full of baloney. Oh, yeah, I'm full of it. Uh, where's Rebecca? How come she's never on your show? Howard, the reason... How come Rebecca's never on your show? The reason I want you off the air yeah. is because I, because I don't want people like you to be successful on radio or television. Because if you are successful, then there's going to be poor little guys around the country who are going to try to emulate you. Yeah. So I want to huh? use you as an example. Uh, then we should emulate you. From the airwaves once and for all so we can clean up radio well, and television. Well, can I uh, make my campaign now? I'm getting a campaign to have you off the air, even though you practically are off the air. <laughs> I've never heard of you. And uh, what I am going to do is I am encouraging people to get Wally George off the air. because, And let me tell you why. Because you are a bad example for all Americans. You are the type of guy who, I don't know how many times you've been married, I don't know what your morally bankrupt life a is all about. A couple of times, Howard. How many times? A couple of times. Yeah, so what are you, a womanizer? Hey, how many women have, have you slept with, Howard? It just happens that I married them because I thought it was a decent thing to do. And you really held on to them. It was a decent thing to do to have I children with them and happily, lose it. I'm not happily married with, with a beautiful two and a half year old daughter. Oh, so you could lose her too. No way. Yeah. You see, two and a half year old daughter and you're 51. Howard, you don't realize what Who are you, Ed McMahon? You're Ed McMahon. You've got the morality of Ed McMahon. You don't realize what morality and decency Yeah, you're is. decent, all right. You're some example for America. You should be ashamed of yourself. 51 years old behaving like a teenage boy. Oh, your genitals are in your, in your brains. Talk about behaving like a teenage boy. You go on the air, talk about bodily functions. You, you give graphic. Yeah, so what's that going to do? Activity. Wally, that's all the stuff you're doing all your wives. Oh, get it. How old is your trophy wife? Don't, don't get trophy. Don't get <laughs> trophy. I'm not going to get... I'm not gonna uh, get ah, come on. Get you know what? It, hey, so when's the last time you saw your daughter? I want you to know this, Howard. I saw your daughter nude in a, in a movie. Don't try it. I'm not going to roll in the gutter with you. Yeah. I'm gonna yeah, buddy. Let me tell you something. If you talk about moral people, all right? And I know you're a shtick. I know you're a liberal. I know people who know you. I am. I am and, uh, a, let me a tell you. Reagan 
and conservatism. Oh, my please friend. stop it! Stop! You're being silly. Now you're being silly. Let's I, learn about you. I, I, Let's I, learn about a morally upstanding man. I was nine years old. I was campaigning for Eisenhower and Nixon, uh, uh, passing out handbills. I'm a life. Nine woman. years old. So uh, you expected people to uh, accept your opinions at the age of nine as yeah. uh, credible? Wally, I, let me suggest something to you. I was working Getting a, a shot. Campaign worker for the Nixon uh, Eisenhower campaign team. The reason you started a campaign against me is so that someone might act actually notice you and give you a real television show. Sir, your I'm show, action. your show can't even get on Channel Nine in New York, which, by the way, is a crummy station. But you can't even get on that. Do you realize that your show is a joke. It looks like cable. It's boring. Wait a minute, you don't sir. say anything of substance. That. Morton Downey was more successful than you. We are on 165 television. Oh, stations get with it. America. Yeah, and I think there. I think Channel 89 is the one you're on. It's public access. Television. And you were on at 12 midnight here in Los Angeles, and your ratings are so pitiful that they're going to kick you off the air in Los what Angeles. What are my ratings? Together. What are my ratings? They are, they're not even a one. What, want to know what my rating is? A one. Wally, want to know what my rating is? I know what your rating is. Want to know my rating? I know what it is. Or you want, to, you want to talk like a moron? It's less than a one. No wonder your daughter left your household. You lie. Listen, don't... Want to bet me some money? Want to bet me some of that Wally George fortune that my rating isn't a one? You want to put your money where your mouth is, pal? I, I'm, I'm looking at... Yeah, hey, you're a big pussy. Now. That's what you are. Less than a one. Hey, Howard... Hey, Howard. why don't you... Why don't Howard, you put your money where your mouth Howard, is, Big Shot? Howard, Howard. How much money you got? Howard, call up Channel 13. How much money you got? And they will tell you that your show is ready to go off the air in Los Angeles. Let me ask you something. Since you know so much, since you're such a television genius, since you've been in the business for how long? Since I was 14. Since you were 14 and you're 51, so was that right. some 30 years now you've been That's in the business, right. according to you? I, I, and, and you made such a name for yourself? That's right. I, 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 uh, I'm going to tell you something right now. Not only are you a bore, not only are you a, a no talent, but uh, not only are you um, someone who can't get any kind of rating... But uh, I'm willing to bet you right now I have a higher than a one rating. Want to put your money where your mouth is? Absolutely. I, I, oh, you do. Lay it on the line. I, I how much you point. got? Uh, how much you got, genius? I got the book lying right in front of me here, Howard. What do you have in front of you? I, I got the book lying right here showing me what Howard Stern is doing. Yeah, and you would see that I have over a 4.5, you moron. Listen, let, let, what did you say you have? Over a 4.5. In Los Angeles? And I beat Arsenio, my lead-in, my great lead-in. You are full of it. I mean, what have you been uh, today, come on. Okay, listen. Okay. All right, so you're right. I have under a one, okay? Now, let's talk about your personal life, because I find you interesting that, that you go on the air. That is why I'm talking to you on the air. I'm now, yeah, you're afraid to talk about your personal life, aren't you? I have letters after Morally years. bankrupt. Do you know, you know, do you know, after Morally years. bankrupt. You should be ashamed of yourself. Even your own daughter hates you. After my... If I was your daughter, I'd hate you. I wouldn't come to see you. Listen. I'd be embarrassed by you. You're pathetic. Let me tell you, after I aired my commentary uh, get with it. about your show, I received over 400 letters from across America. Um, of that 35 million people? 400, 400, 400 people were moved by his speech. <laughs> <laughs> You're incredible. Four letters. Four, hundred four letters. Is it, you just made a Freudian slip. Four letters you received. 400 letters came to uh, me. Right, you're so silly. Howard Stern is a disgrace and should be off the Air. I, I want to say the something. In Buffalo wrote that? I want to give a message to Rebecca De Mornay because I'm I'm closer to her than, I, I than her own father. To talk about any any. Oh, you can't handle it, can you? You can't handle your own daughter, can you? My daughter and I are on very good terms. Where'd you get this from? The National Enquirer. Yeah, how do you like your daughter's movies? I think she's a fine actress. You do, huh? Yes. Yeah, and you're in touch with her. She comes and visits you. Absolutely. Yeah, you're gonna have her on your show, I bet, sometime no, soon. But I, I am on very good terms with, with everybody in my family. Your daughter is a very beautiful woman, but every once in a while I look at her, I go, "Wait a second, Wally George is her father." That's right. And then I go, I go, "Ugh, <laughs> oh my God!" I see the genetics coming through. Have when she's an old bag, she's gonna look like you, <laughs> with a big mirror? bullet head. Have you ever looked in the mirror, Howard? Yeah, and I'm a lot more pleased than what I see from you. I'll tell you one thing: I go home to my wife, my original wife, my original children. I'm not a 51-year-old man running around with a two-year-old, and I'm not certainly. How old's your wife? She she is 25 years old. Oh, yeah. Oh boy. Yeah. <laughs> you pig. Yeah. I You're a pig. You. you are so jealous, aren't you, Howard? Yeah, I am jealous. I bet you I can nail your wife in two minutes if she took a look at me, a young man. I looked at you on television last night and said, what a stupid pig he is. Yeah, and she was sitting there. I bet you she was wet. <laughs> you sit 
Hey, hey, let me tell you something. That you came on this show for publicity. Yeah, why don't you admit it? Why don't you do anything to get ratings? Look, I don't know. I don't know your wife, and I'm sure she, I don't know your wife, and I'm sure she's a lovely woman. But I feel bad for her if she has to be in purgatory with you. And I feel bad for that two and a half year old, and I certainly feel bad for your older daughter who's so embarrassed. She's she had to change her name so her Hollywood friends wouldn't find out who her father was. Let me tell you something, Howard. I've had three pages in People magazine on my show. I, I yeah, done, we all saw that. I've been on Oprah Winfrey. I've yeah. Been entertainment tonight. I've done all that too. And now you're going to the real source. You see, I happen to be. The and still nobody knows you. I am the originator of controversial television. More than yeah. tried to copy my show. Yeah. And uh, with Joe Pine, uh, you didn't copy him. Howard, Howard You're a rip-off artist. Howard, Howard, Howard You're a bum. Howard Rosenberg in the Los Angeles. And I love, and I love this your guy. Your show is verbal wrestling. Can you imagine? Your show is just a wrestling match. You're like a pro wrestler. That's why no program directors would even give you a radio show. Do you want to listen to me? Howard yeah. Rosenberg in the Los Angeles Times said, Morton Downey Jr. is the student and Wally George is the teacher. He's the one who started this kind yeah. of television. Yeah, and you're still on public access. I'm not. I'm so, on. so what does that say? You do your own stuff badly. The, the station I'm on happens to be a, a, a... What channel is it? Channel 56. <laughs> 56. That's a radio station. It is, it is a very good radio. It is a very good television. It is a very good radio station. What else they got on there? Uh, Why don't you go back to selling used cars where you belong? And let me tell you something. Why don't you... Before you call me immoral, let me just say something to you. You are immoral. Why don't you learn... You want to learn at the master's feet? Because I'm a much younger guy than you, and I, I obviously make considerably more money on a lot more prestigious radio stations and television stations. So maybe you ought to learn something from somebody who knows. I, listen, I'm a lot more successful I, listen, than you. I have learned is how to be a moral, decent person. Well... You how long? I, 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 you made lots of mistakes before. I have lasted... How many women have you dumped? I have lasted... How many women have you married and wrecked their lives? I am talking, Howard. What about your daughter's life? Have you wrecked? I have lasted 10 years on television with my hot seat show, and... How did you meet your wife? Call the Channel America Television Network. How did you meet your 25-year-old wife? They will tell you that we have over 35 million people watching on, on Channel America now. How did you meet your wife? It's not a few business on that. I'm not talking you about got her because you... you, you def I'm not talking about my personal life with, with you, Stern. Yeah, and let me tell you something. Before you ever dare call anybody immoral, you take a good hard look at yourself in the mirror and wonder why your own kids may you throw up when they hear your name. You are you are quoting from the National Enquirer. I don't care. Well, you tell me different. Very, wait a minute. Produce your daughter, then. Produce your daughter on your TV show. I have a very good relationship with every member of my family, including my daughter. Yeah, well, why don't you get her on your show, then? She hasn't come on a hot seat. Why not? I have people on, on my show that I argue with. Yeah. Jerks like you. Yeah, well, you tell, you tell me something. Let me see the last birthday card she sent you. I can send you a reason. Because you have no family structure, and I bet you I'm going to get You know what I'm going to do to you, Wally? I'm going to get a hold of your first wife. I'm going to learn all about you. I'm going to make you my... You know what? If I ever hear you mention my name again, now, you listen carefully. If I ever hear you mention my name in a no, negative no, way... No, don't you try to order... Now, me. I'm going to order you around. You're my boy. You're rotten. You're my dog. Don't now, you listen to me. Order me you are a disgrace to broadcast. I am having your ex-wife on dial a date. <laughs> oh, yeah. Teal boy, you're my dog. You dare try to order me around. I'll tell you something, Howard. You're my dog. You are a filthy... But you're my dog. You are my dog. You are going to be removed yeah. from the airwaves because I am going to see to it. And, that and let me tell you something. And let me Don't tell you something. As soon as you get some Listen here, Rover. The are now petitioning the FCC to get you off the I'll be still, television. you wig-wearing hump. What do you look like under that wig? How bald are you? Hey, this is my hair, you stupid moron. Yeah, well, uh, let me let me pull it off. Wearing? Let me pull that toupee off. Well, hey, hey, what kind of a wig? Are... Hey, don't you dare make fun of my hair. At least I got happening heavy metal hair. <laughs> You've got hair from hell. You're... Why is it covering your ears? Do you have ears? You look like... Because you're so conservative, why is your hair covering your ears? You look like some... What are you hiding? I know. What are you hiding? I wandered in off the street. I hope they pull your wig off right on TV. This is my hair, pal. I mean, it's probably chemotherapy. It looks like he's in some shape. You know, you, know, you are such a pitiful moron. Hey, let me tell you something, dope. I, you're my dog, and this is what I'm going to do to you. If I ever hear you mention my name neg negatively again, well, I only want to hear praise. I, I, I am your master, and I only want to hear... You listen carefully. The next day and the next... You listen carefully to me. You can't threaten... 
if you want, you're arguing with the best now. You're not arguing with one of those idiots on your show. Now listen to me carefully, dog boy. I am telling you right now that you are morally bankrupt, personally. I don't care about you professionally because you're nothing to me. You're a pimple on my ass. You're a flea in the show business. Let me tell you something, my friend. And listen to me carefully. If I hear you mention me negatively again, what is going to happen? I'm going to investigate. I'm going to get hold of your first and your second wife. And I'm going to get hold of your daughter and her friends. And I'm going to start to hear stories about you. And I'm going to find out about how morally bankrupt you are. I'm going to find out if there's pictures of young boys in your background. I'm going to find out everything oh, about you. Are, you see what you do. You hear that? You are such, Say what? You Say what? Are such an idiot. Don't, Say what, doggy? Don't try to threaten me. I have nothing You're a dog. in my life. There is nothing in my life Say what? I am ashamed of. I am proud of I'm going to investigate you like the McCarthy hearings. I have a very good Sick relationship you. with every single member We're of the We're going to find out, aren't we? You better pay them off. And everybody in my family has, t has said to me, you are doing a wonderful thing. Because wh what I am trying to do... I'm going to I'm going to investigate you. What I'm playing on my television show is I am standing up for God and country, for morality, for decency. Yeah, so they could all behave like you, an immoral fool. 25-year-old wife. All should be ashamed of yourself. All you're doing is dig up trash from the National Enquirer. You don't like it when I talk about your personal life. You don't. You don't. Know you guys want to be accountable for your there personal lives. In, there is nothing. All you moral majority types don't want to be accountable. Why don't you let someone talk on your stupid film? Because you bore me. You're a big dope. Well, then why did you call me? I don't know. It was a mistake. Oh sure. You wanted to build your ratings up a little bit, pal. Oh yeah. So you're you're helping. With the master. Now. You're an idiot. You are dealing with the king of television. <laughs> All right. Why don't I be quiet? Let's hear what you have to say. I bet you. I bet you you've run out of things to say. I bet, no, no. I, I bet you it's all going to sound stupid. Talk? Go ahead. Talk. Okay. The reason I have talked about you on my television show... Because you want your ratings. It's you and people like you that, that have really hurt broadcasting in general. Oh, how is that? It, it, you said you were going to let me talk. I'll talk. You see, Howard, it doesn't take any talent to be a garbage mouth and talk about bodily functions. What would you know about talent? You said you were going to let me talk. You have no ratings. Are you going to let me talk or not? Are you boring me? Well, you, you said I have, the, the, I have plenty to say. You just behaved. We've heard never, you say you're just going to repeat what you said before. This is what your TV show was like. They sent me a copy of your TV show. All you do is repeat the same stupid thing over and over again. We heard this already. You run out of things to say. Hey, you're a dope. You don't remember saying this? What is your IQ? What? No. I want to give you an IQ test. Would you mind uh, being administered an IQ test? Would you subject yourself to that? I'm not sitting here at 6.30 in the morning in Los Angeles. You're, you're, you're I'm done. Your called me and said, Howard wants to give you a chance to get on the air and, and talk. No, I wanted to talk to you because you're starting a campaign against me. I'm starting a campaign against you. You know, your, your television uh, producer begged me to come yes. on your television show Friday. I I have news for you. I will not do that show. Who cares? Because I'm embarrassing you. Your, your TV producer begged me to come back there in person. Who to be cares? On That's show. my TV producer. Begged me to come back there. Please call me five times. Wally. Because he knows that I'm You will never. Rating. You can't come on my TV your show. Television producer, I wouldn't come on your television show if he paid me $20,000. Why? That would be you the most money you ever made. Grabber, why are you on Channel 56? Yeah, why if you're such a. Somebody, some network hasn't grabbed you up. How come the networks haven't grabbed you up after 30 years of great broadcasting? I will not rule in the gutter with a with a stupid ass like you, and I'm out of here. Yeah, good. And go say hi to your daughter for me, jerk off. That's Wally George, everyone. <laughs> That's all an act with him, though. Of course. He yells at everyone. Yeah. And uh, as far as my TV show goes... Um, I thought it was kind of funny that that imbecile... You know, usually I get people who come after me and say they're trying to get my show off the air. Yeah. But when I hear Wally George, whose daughter is Rebecca de Mornay, who, the daughter changes her name so that she wouldn't have any association with that dope. <laughs> when I hear that, I certainly... I certainly don't want to hear about morality from a guy like that. You're going to have to come up with better... Mo That's like getting a morality lecture from Bill Clinton. <laughs> you know, talk to me about morality. you got to find out. And as far... I would like to interview his wife and ask her if she really does find him more attractive than me. <laughs> you got to find out where he met her. I'm going to find out everything about him. I'll find out. I'm gonna, I want to get in touch with Mrs. Wally George, the first Wally George. The I first get, one. Yeah. <laughs> what a nincompoop. And uh, he'll be on the TV show. You'll see. Oh, yeah. Yeah. He loves it. Just like he was on this radio show. He needs publicity. Yeah. He loves it. And 
uh, imagine that. 51. He's not 51. No, I, that's a lie. Yeah. I'm going to check yeah, into that. Yeah, that's the first lie he told. He says he started broadcasting when he was 14. Yeah. And he says he's been in the business for 30 years. I saw that on his TV show. So that would make him 40... That would make him 44. Right. But now he's 51. He's been 51 for 10 years. Did he... I caught bits and pieces. Did he say that that's his real hair? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, he paid for it, probably. So, yes, it's mine. I yeah. have it. <laughs> he grew it and saved it. He also said his wife saw me on TV and threw up. And I'm like, you know, I, I know I'm not good looking, but he's not good looking. Well, anyway, we're going to take a break and then we'll be back. Yeah. <laughs> 